What's going on guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers, and I'm gonna be showing you the UEFI BIOS here on the Asus Sabertooth Z97 Mark S motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same throughout Asus's entire Z97 line. Um, it does have the tough kind of branding on it, so if you have another tough motherboard, from Asus, it's gonna look pretty much the same as well. So when you first go into the BIOS, you kind of come into what this is, and this is easy mode. This is kind of a lot of the settings that you would normally change that you don't, you know, they make it easy so you don't have to go all the way into the BIOS to change them. Um, so it gives you some information first, um, let you know, you know, information on the board, the BIOS version, the processes you're running, and the speed um, for both your CPU and your memory. It's giving you your CPU temperature in real time, motherboard temperature in real time, and voltage in real time. Also let you know your memory status, your SATA information. Um, here you can easily enable XMP. Uh, on your memory. That's one of the main things people go into the BIOS to do. So that is right here. Uh, we have Intel's rapid storage technology. You can turn that off or on. And then we have our fan profiles down here and you can actually see the speed of the fans um, that we have in our system in real time. Um, and of course they're animated so you can see what fans are running. And then you can actually do fan tuning. So if you click on that, um, you can manually go ahead and uh, set your fan tuning however you'd like it. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, allows you to do all this within the BIOS. It, it's really, really easy. Um, over here, we have easy system tuning. What this will do, um, you can set a certain type of tuning for your system, whether it's quiet performance or energy saving. Of course, this will also auto overclock your system if it can, uh, depending on your cooling and everything else. It asks you a bunch of questions and it will go ahead and tune your system, you know, for that specific setup that you have listed. Um, and then again, we have boot, our boot priority, so you can see our two devices here, and um, you can actually easily move them up or down to switch your boot priority. So that is kind of the main, um, you know, easy mode part of the BIOS. But if you just go ahead and hit F7, you'll go into your normal type of BIOS. Um, so we go into your advanced mode, uh, what ASUS calls it. And the first thing you will see is your My Favorites menu. So typically when you get the BIOS or when you get your motherboard, this will be blank. There will be nothing here. I've added a few things um, to the My Favorites menu, things that I change a lot. Um, just makes it much easier to you know go in and do certain things. Um, so I've added a few things, but the, it's really cool because you, you can add certain settings that you always change or that you always go into the BIOS. So you don't have to go through a, you know, a couple menus to get to them, they're all right here. Um, and then we'll go over to our main tab. And in here, you can see all of the information on your BIOS, your language, system date, all of that. You also have security settings down here. You can set passwords and all of that for the BIOS. The main tab that I'm sure all of you will be going into is your AI tweaker here. And what this will do is one, one thing I really like about ASUS implementation of this is that you have your target um, frequencies. Um, so if you're setting a different setting, it's gonna let you know the target speed that you're gonna go for. A lot of BIOSes don't do this. And when you're overclocking, especially if you're, changing your uh, BCLK frequencies and things like that, it's not gonna be simple math. So they have everything here for you so that you can you know, see what your targets are, which I really like. Um, of course, you have your XMP profiles and all of that, um, all of your CPU core ratios and, and all of that. But if we go all the way down, um, you can do your DRAM timing and you can set your different timings for your memory. Let me go out of that. Um, we have your Digi Plus power control. So that's all the power phase controls and your load line calibrations and everything for power. Very important if you are overclocking. We have our internal CPU power management. Um, and this is basically all of those CPU settings, right? So you can turn Intel speed step on or off, turbo mode on or off, things like that, um, that you would do, um, you know, all of those different power and, and everything like that for your CPU, you can turn those on or off. Um, and then if we go down even more, we have all of our voltages. So you can easily change your voltages here, set them to what you want them to be. 
all of that, you could go ahead and change that. Um, in advance, this is your typical menus for pretty much everything else on the board. We're not gonna go through each one individually, but this is where you can change, you know, your um, USB configuration, your PCH, you know, all of that kind of stuff, your storage stuff, you can change all of it right here. There's all the different menus that you can go ahead and do. Under monitor, this is real-time monitoring for both temperatures, fan speeds, and voltages. So, you, you know, you can see we have our CPU temperature here, motherboard temperature all in real time. And if we go down, we can see our fan speeds and all of that. Um, and you can set your, your, your fan controls here too. So, you know, sometimes your CPU fan might break or it's not working and you forget to plug it in, which is kind of a bad thing. So that you can kind of set limits. So if the CPU fan doesn't go over a certain speed, uh, it gives you a warning or it won't boot the system. So that's actually quite cool because again, there's certain things happen and you know, you want to be able to have that warning or let them let you know that, uh, the fan is not working correctly. So that's kind of cool. They have that in there. And of course you can set that for all the different types of fans, uh, that are on the system. It's actually pretty cool. Under boot, of course, this is your boot uh, priorities and different things like you can set up USB support, of course, SATA support, uh, boot logo, all that stuff. Everything to do with boot, you can go ahead and set right here. And you also have boot override. So if you go in here and if I click any one of these, it's gonna restart my system and instantly boot to whatever one I select. Uh, this is good if you're, say, loading Windows from a USB flash drive, you can go ahead and click on one of these and it will instantly you know, get your setup started. It's very easy. Under tools, we have your Easy Flash 2 utility that allows you to easily flash your BIOS uh, if you need an update and all of that. We have our overclocking profile, which means that you can save different profiles in your BIOS and then easily enable them. So if you have an overclocking profile, you can go ahead and load it, save it, or set it up uh, in that menu. And then we have our SPD information. Of course, that is all of our memory information right here easy to go in and see and then of course you can exit you can save your changes and exit some other things i want to point out um you have a real-time hardware monitor on the side over here so you can see all the information on your cpu memory and your voltages very easily um, up top we have our time and you can of course there's this little dial right here that allows you to change that uh, you can set your preferred language i believe they offer quite a lot of different languages um, of course ours is english um, F3, the shortcut, or you can just click it, is of course your My Favorites, and this allows you to add things to your My Favorites. So if I want to, you know, say I, I want to put Easy Flash on my, my Favorites, you know, you can go into the different menus and we'll go to Tool, Easy Flash, and all I have to do is hit this little plus button right here, and this allows me to add it, and if I hit Escape, and then I actually go to My Favorites, Easy Flash 2 is right there, very cool. Um, we have Q Fan Control. Of course, this is our fan tuning that we talked about in the easy menu, it's just here as well. Uh, the shortcut is F6, it allows you to easily change everything. Um, easy Tuning Wizard, it's the same thing. Um, it allows you to boost your system performance. You answer some questions and it will instantly overclock and set everything up for you. Quick note is a little notepad here so I can type whatever in here. So if I'm doing overclocking or something like that and I wanna make a note, oh, it boot, booted at 4.5, you know, didn't boot at 4.6, uh, and then I can save that and it's always there, uh, just really easy. And then hotkeys allows you, just gives you a little shortcut here to show you what your hotkeys are. Um, one thing that's really cool, so we'll go ahead and change something. Um, we'll change our core to say 42. And then when I go to save, which is the shortcut is F10, it's actually gonna save my changes. So you can see that um, these are all the changes that I made before I save, and then I can hit okay, and of course our system's gonna restart. So I like it that it shows you all of the changes that you've made. That's something that a lot of these motherboard uh, BIOSes don't give you. So if you accidentally change something or you're not sure what you changed, you can go ahead right before you save, you can go ahead and see all of that. And that is basically it. Um, of course, if you wanna go back to your easy mode, just hit F7 again and we're right back. Um, this BIOS works really well, it's really snappy. It does not, um, it hasn't lagged or anything like that. I haven't had any issues, issues with it, but if you have any questions about this BIOS or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you, if you do enjoy our videos, it'd be great if you could subscribe. Catch you guys later.